Well, tonight marks Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, which is a time to honor loved ones that we've lost. Due to last weekend's snowstorm, the Day of the Dead parade in Denver has been postponed to Friday at 7. The festival is now scheduled for this Saturday at Civic Center Park. Yeah, for now, though, your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, live from a celebration at La Raza Park. Jasmine, you have more on what we can expect throughout the weekend. Yeah, lots of celebrations starting today going through the weekend. And there was a procession here for, uh, that began at Troy Chavez Memorial Peace Garden. And then it ended here at La Raza Park. The celebration here at La Raza Park will uh, go on until 8 p.m. There will be dances, music, food, uh, 27 altars. And it's all to honor those loved ones who have gone before us. Across town, celebrations for Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead are in the works. It is my favorite holiday. It's because it gives me an opportunity to, to celebrate with those that have gone before us. Carlos Castaneda has been part of Denver's longest running Dia de los Muertos celebration for decades. This particular celebration here is, um, has been going on in the community since 1982 which will unfold at La Raza Park, where 27 altars made by community members will be on display. There are uh, schools that are involved in this. There's uh, the Nawi Olin run. There's a veterans altar that's going up. Including personal altars, as Castaneda honors his loved ones with one of his own. On this day, I remember um, most recently is my twin sister. She actually passed away uh, two years ago tomorrow. This allows me a time not to mourn, but to celebrate her life. Similar celebrations will continue throughout the weekend, as Viva Colorado also looks to host their first festival and parade, which will feature Cantrinas, a Day of the Dead character, handmade floats and decor by volunteers. It took a lot of dedication, it took a lot of time, and it took a lot of passion from different artists that came together to create this. At both celebrations, people prepare for the spirits through these ofrendas, also known as altars, that include photos of those who have passed, sugar skulls, which represent death and rebirth, as well as favorite foods and items of those who have passed. We do not celebrate death, we celebrate life. We celebrate that they're still with us. Now, tonight's celebration will feature ritual blessings and traditional dance. There will be, uh, like I said, free food. It's a family-friendly event to honor those loved ones who have passed, and it's going on until 8 p.m. tonight. There will be other celebrations as well throughout the weekend, and we'll have all those posted on our website, cbscolorado.com. I'm live in Denver tonight. Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. All right, Jasmine, thank you. It is all so beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Is always a fantastic celebration and Jasmine covers everything that happens in Denver neighborhoods. Let her know your story idea by calling her on our tips line or reach out to her through our website cbscolorado.com. First alert meteorologist